everybody pay the pied papa <laughs> when you're ready and it's safe drive on take the very first road on the right good luck So ignore the sat nav, we'll just take this next road on the right. Thank you. Um, would you be able to tell me how would we test to see if the power steering is working? Um, so when we, so when we will use it when we're stationary, so if the steering is stuck, After that, will, 300 that will tell yards, us that there's a problem, but if it's able to move, like, relatively freely, then it's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'd like to do the manoeuvre next, okay. and without yellow lines or driveways, if it's safe, pull over and stop on the right side of the road. around here first mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's uh, just go it's quite a sharp road here so let's go around the sharp bit and then anywhere on the single yellow line don't worry about driveways it's quite a long road so you decide where to stop and we'll try and pull up on the right Thank you. Okay, so the next part of the maneuver will be to reverse back roughly two car lengths. Take your time, no rush. When you're ready, reverse back two car lengths. Again, don't worry about the yellow line or the driveways on this occasion. Nice manoeuvre, thank you very much. Right, what we're going to do next is start the independent drive. So take your time to drive on and continue to follow the sat nav's directions, okay? If you're not too sure, as you know, you can always just ask me uh, or the examiner will help, okay? All right, when you're ready, drive on, follow the sat nav. of the road, turn left, church lane.
Turn left. At the end of the road, turn left, High Street. Turn left. End of the road, turn right, Bridge Street, then cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Turn right, then cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Bridge Street.
when it's safe, would you show us how to open and close one of the driver's side windows? After 300 yards, turn left, A404, then a green, then go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. left, A404, then a green, then go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. To 100 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A404, then a green. First you said the street, correct? Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Thank you. And second roundabout left. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, B466, Cuckoo Hill, then take the third right. After 200 yards, turn right, Chamberlain Way, then take the third right. Turn right, then take the third right. After 200 yards, turn left, high view, then turn around when possible. Turn left, then turn around when possible. left here for me please. Thank you. I need another sound over. And see if we can find a convenient place to pull up on the left. Ta-da! Right, as you know, this is done three times on the test, so nice completing your first pull-up on 
them, have they? When you're ready and it's safe, drive on and continue to follow the sat nav. Thank you. After 100 yards, turn right, Cuckoo Hill Drive. Turn right. Sorry, that might have been a bit confusing. We're, we're done. You're following the road, so that was incorrect from the site now. I think there's a turn right there. Maybe it was this one, I don't know. Sorry, I'm confusing you. Yeah. After 100 yards, turn right, high view. Turn right. the road, turn right, B466, Cuckoo Hill, then you have reached your destination on your right. Turn right, then you have reached your destination on your right. Destination 26 Cuckoo Hill. It is on your right. We'll just continue to follow the road ahead and I'll give us the directions for the time being. Ooh, nice little breather. It's quite weird, you had a pedestrian earlier, the whole pavement, I think it was this road, mm -hmm. the whole pavement was open and they were walking right on the edge of the pavement with their shopping bag in the road. I was thinking, why? <laughs> well done, you kept a safe distance from them, which was good. A bit strange. We're going to have two, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to have two roundabouts, twin roundabouts. At the first roundabout, turn right. At the second roundabout, turn left. First roundabout, turn right. Second roundabout, turn left. Correct.
traffic lights turn bright. turning right in the crossroads. It just looks like he's biting his nails. See that? He's <laughs> coming towards the end of the test now. He'll be heading back. He's doing well because a lot of people, they rush this junction, they turn in front of the traffic here. So the position looks good and they're being patient and safe. Yeah, that looks like a good turn. Also a good turn from yourself. Well done. Yeah, I just wanted to get a couple of crossroads done before we finish this mock test off. Okay, so we're pretty much coming back to where we started this route. It won't be a crossroads, but it'll be a similar situation. We'll be turning right at some point across the traffic. So again, we'll see how we position and how we do it. Until we get there, though, there'll be a roundabout. When we reach roundabout, I'd like to say turning right, second exit. So the roundabout, take the second exit. Take the next road on the right. Next road on the right. Chapel Way. Ta-da! Right, I'd like us to enter into a car park here on the left-hand side. So, just after the bridge, turn left into the car park. As you'll know, this is one of the car parks the examiners may ask us to use on a test. Bit busy today. We're not really here to do the manoeuvre, so we can kind of just follow the road ahead if it's safe. Naughty driver, it's a one way, you're not supposed to do that. Good defensive driving from yourself. And if we can, just slowly creep. Mm, we've got another vehicle reversing out, so let's wait then. Uh, we're just going to finish up round here. So I'm just trying to get us around the learners. Examiners kind of treat the end of the test similar. Depends what test centre you go to. Okay, all right, if it's safe, let's see if we can creep through. And we're just gonna go around to the other side, so we'll go all the way to the fence. And then once we reach the fence, just follow to the right, like a U-turn to the right. Yeah, lovely, and then just continue to the right. Lovely, yeah. oh, just to the right. Yeah, here on the right, thank you. 
See that grey van that's got like a dent inside mm -hmm. of it? Could you just pull up on the left, kind of like the black vehicle here, just trying to put us on the left side. It doesn't have to be perfect, we can be a bit diagonal. Just try and squeeze in as much as we can so people can get through that gap. Yeah, this is looking good. I think, can they get through there? I think they can. What do you reckon? Should we forward a tiny bit? Just in case. Some people have got these big cars. Yeah, if that Audi gets through, then we know we're good. Yeah, let's load to them, right? Mm. Cool. All right, let's secure the vehicle. Lovely. Uh, yeah, push the button, switch off. That's how we know it's the end of the test. I swear there was one thing I have forgotten to write down. <laughs> Anyways. We have a slight tradition. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep the tradition going. What do you reckon? Pass or fail? I want to say pass. Undue hesitation may have, may have killed me though. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got three on the undue hesitation. All minor. So no serious on undue hesitation. 10 10 on your show me, tell me questions. Uh, there's a couple of sort of late signals. Mm. Apart from that, congratulations. You have passed. Mm -hmm. Well done. Uh, so five minor driver faults that I've recorded. Mm. Okay, three, like I said, for undue hesitation and two for late signals. Would you care to elaborate on your undue hesitation statement? So, with my thinking, it's like, okay, the first stage for like, what, a minute or two was a lot of traffic. But then it was clear on the left side, but not clear on the right side. And there was times when there was one car that was coming people across the zebra crossing. I could have maybe I don't know I wasn't sure if I was able to edge into the middle then go. Was was I able to do that on that place or not? Because I felt like we weren't in a particular place to do that. We were blocking the road. So I was just a bit confused. And there was openings I could have probably exploited. And then obviously one. And then there was and then the man was looking at me like we should go. Are you gonna go? Are you not gonna go? The one on the main road. Mm -hmm. Were they waving that one? Call yeah. it beckoning mm -hmm. this one person and then they changed their mind but you know what i think he dealt with that situation well because the people had been changing their mind mm. um sometimes they might be waving at other people as well so we don't want to risk it mm -hmm. then for a driving test i'd say do it do what you do maybe take a minor for mm. hesitation okay because it's a tricky one mm. personally i found it very frustrating so the walkout rule worked for me but it doesn't work for everybody mm -hmm. does it so would you give any advice to anybody about how to judge when it's safe to drive out at a junction? No, the walk out method is good. So you often say, if you if you if you can walk out, you can probably drive up. But I would say, if you're at that position and you can see a car coming at speed, or you can see the car close to you, it's probably best not to go. I was optimal situation: wait for clear, wait for clear roads, and then go. If you see a clear opening, then go, kind of thing. But don't try and risk at the smallest space if you need to take your time. And just keep looking, nice. just keep looking left, just keep looking left and right. I guess if you're turning right, you would like either way look both ways and things like that. But look to the way you want to go, see if it's clear and things like that. That's what I would say. So, are you still getting anxious at the junctions, or are you quite? settled and confident and someone beeps you you're gonna be like forget about it don't worry I feel, I feel like i'm quite good at staying calm at junctions it was roundabouts that i wasn't too good on but these roundabouts i was good with yeah there was a couple of blockers at mm -hmm. certain roundabouts that we could have used um that happened on two occasions mm -hmm. but overall yes the roundabouts were good you're correct yeah 